Okay, everybody. So, Jack, oh look, I've got one of these lights on my phone to see if this makes any difference. So I've got Jackwell Bright Spark in, and Jackwell is a boy, which means he's got one of these, a willy. Um, now horses obviously cannot clean that area themselves. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Um, try to show you how to do it. That's if he like relaxes enough to like give me his penis. Um, so basically you just need, just need a bit of cotton wool, sheath cleaner, this is good. I've never used this before, I've always just used water. A very gentle natural coconut formula to help soften and clean away sharp Smegma. I've always called it Willy Smeg. I didn't actually realise it was like a proper name. So I guess. Can I just. Oh god, what does that look like? Da -da 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 -da. Anyway, Joe's being gross. So you just go to the sheath area like so. The penis of the horse is called the sheath. Um, I'm just going to get my hand up in there. Very lovely. See what's coming off of my hand? This is really gross, guys, right? Well, you might think it's gross. I just think it's part and parcel of having a girl doing. Like, it's really important this gets done. Um, if you don't want to do it, don't get a girl doing, I guess. Look, it's literally like, what does that look like? <laughs> um, yeah, you can wear gloves, or you can just be gross like me and get your hand proper up in there. So I'm just, what I need him to do is to lower his actual penis so it comes out. But I'm just going to show you the sort of stuff that's built up in there. Right, this is dust, it's grime, it's just smug. And um, this is a, I'll be get done. This sort of stuff, just a bit more, it's like lube, isn't it? It's meant to soften it. Um, and it obviously can be very nice. Is that nice, Jack? Are you like actually enjoying it? Dirty bastard. Fuck off, Dyson. So, um, Dyson, move. It's a woolly smug. So I'm just getting the hand up in there a minute and just gently breaking away. Dyson's actually eating what I'm pulling off. Dyson, that's gross. Do you want this, Dyson? Dogs like everything, don't they? It stinks. Look. Dyson. He's literally just eating it off the floor. So, um, gross, right? So what I've got is a bit of cotton wool. I'm going to get some of that up in there. And I'm just gonna get the whole thing up in there and wiggle it around. It's gross. Now, the thing is, with geldings, what can happen, right? It's a bit cold, sorry, mate, I should have made it warm. Is um, when you actually get like their bell end out, um, they can actually get like, oh, I'm trying to get it out and then I'll show you. But they can actually get like hard calcified lumps just under like, I don't even know what to call it. I don't know my anatomy of like balls. Do you know what I mean? But basically, I'll try and show you. But it's like a, it gets like hard calcified lumps. There is special words for it, you know. Um, but I can't remember the terminology, which is really helpful when I'm doing a video like this, isn't it? Right. Good boy. Basically, I need him to relax to give me his bell end so I can like proper like poke around his pee hole. But, I mean, that is what's coming out of it, guys. Gross, huh? So let's see, that's cleanish, yeah? Poor Jackwell. I'm not going to attract the wellies with the wellies. The ladies with a smelly willy is he? No, he is not. Look at that nice Jack's loving life. What I need him to do, and they keep saying it, is drop it. some sick fetish guys this is something that genuinely needs to be done but I think I've got the end of this willy I'm tucking it up give it to me 
hands like right up there. Good boy, Jack. Right. Give it here. He's like, fuck off, are you having that out? I don't know what you're going to do to it. I just like to pull it around. Right, so, I mean, we're getting there. It's getting cleaner. Jack is, like, loving life, by the way. He's not, like, mortified. Someone called Horseline. Do you know, I've got these selfie cameras up. Look how blue my eyes look. I might use this all the time. Let me show you the penis area of the horse. Uh, where is it? Here. Willie, yeah? So in here, obviously I can get my hand right up in there. This is like, um, like the way, I don't know how, but it basically retracts right in there. So if I put my hand right up, I can see, like, feel like the tip of his penis. Oh, he's at the back somewhere. Um, I really need him to drop that. And then I can sort of like clean the shaft. It's weird. I don't really understand it. Dyson, will you move? Because I put the camera down. Dyson, move. Dyson, move, dickhead. So, um, basically, it is what it is. I need him to relax enough to drop that. Right, as soon as it comes out, you basically grab it and hold on really tight. Put a bit more of the sheath cleaner in there because that just softens anything that's left up there. Good boy. job but just imagine I do jacks every six months and that's a build up after six months so if you've got geldings it's a beastly job but just get on with it otherwise buy them there um scratching a bit more off. But yeah you know it's still coming out willy smeg jack jack Part and parcels of owning horses, guys. I've never really been very screamish. Do you know what I mean, I think one of my first jobs when I was like six, shut up, 16, was like um, working in an old people's home. So I guess I had to like, what would gross most people out is like bathing old people and seeing someone naked and wiping asses. I've kind of done that since I left school. Doesn't really bother me. Good boy. You've got to feel so much better for that. Lowen, don't play with that water. It's got smeg bits in. Willy smeg. <laughs> when he drops his penis, I will come back on and show you the rest. I'm just brushing Jack because um, he doesn't look like he wants to drop his penis. So um, I'm just going to give him a nice brush. Try and relax him, you know, a bit of a pamper sash. Where can I put you so you can see every, everything? Hmm. Hmm. You see a lot of my beautiful horse. This morning the weather was awful. Um, but the sun's came out now, so it's made it all like nice. Have a hug. Give me a girl. Good girl. Stupid. 
Okay. What did I miss? I don't know. It just keeps moving, doesn't it? Grease off. Doesn't move any more than that. You're gonna stupid, Ed. Right, darling. Get you this one. Oh, you got that 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 one. Oh, soon boy. Yeah, the lockdown's over. Lot to change. Daddy. Be able to get out and do more. Don't do that. Oh, oh, oh. Lone. You alright? Dusty, dusty, dusty. Lone's just literally running around. Mine are kind of like allowed to be horses and roll and get filthy, but they do love a bit of brush as well. And this is a like, he's not particularly enjoying this because he's getting clean. He's enjoying it because he's having a really good rub. Oh, that 
Drop his wee. You know, there's other ways of doing it now that give the same effect. I know it's old fashioned, but an old fashioned way of backing your horse was to tie it up on three legs and beat the shit out of it, and we've evolved from that. So I don't feel the need to, um, you know, we've moved on so much. I know it's like old traditional ways of how to pull a mane. Those of you that don't know, and if I do it, Jack will go fucking mad. But it's when, for example, you've got long bits of mane here. And the idea when you pull a mane is to make it short and thin. In order to achieve that, you grab a long bit, you would back comb it. Jack, if he thinks I'm doing this, he'll go mental. Oh, I know, I'm not doing it. You would then wrap it around the comb, you would pull that out of the roots, and you would do that, good boy, I'm not doing it. You would do that right the way down. And then if you want to go shorter, you do it again, and you do it again, and it's bloody painful, and they don't like it. I think some tolerate it. Um, but it's not a nice thing to do, and that is, like I said, back in the day, the term breaking a horse in was to break a horse's spirit. And what they used to do was to sort of like tie one leg up, so the horse only standing on three legs, tie it to a post, dehydrate it, beat the shit out of it, and that was dehydrate, you know, that was breaking a horse's spirit. It's basically what they do to elephants, you know, like baby elephants, to make them able for tourists to ride. Then um, Monty Roberts, good old Monty, he sort of, when he was really young, followed this whole, um, Indy, uh, followed the wild horses, more wild mustangs, and he learned sort of like how they interacted with each other. And through that, we learned that we can back a horse with kindness and that they do understand. Um, and there's certain ways and different methods. I'm not going to go into it all because I'd be here all day, but read the book, Monty Roberts, The Man That Listens to Horses. It's fucking amazing. Um, but, you know, we learned there was different ways of, Learning his dad was very traditional, he used to do it the old way of like breaking a horse's spirit. Monty developed this different way, and for ages, I mean, he had hoidings because of it, you know, because you know, his dad and everyone like that wasn't impressed. Now it's like the way of the world is absolutely amazing, and I just there are different ways, and there's kinder ways to do things. Um, isn't there? And you're happy for it, aren't you? So, yeah, that's just uh. And now the term is backing a horse, not breaking it in. So the whole, like, the old ways of go, oh yeah, just, the horse has just been broken in. But tradition, not traditionally, people now use the word backing or just starting a horse as opposed to breaking it in. Come here. If you teach a horse, what did someone say? If you teach a horse, by fear, there's always something that he'll fear bigger than you. But if you teach a horse through empathy and understanding, then when they're not sure, they'll come to you. I've probably said that completely wrong, but don't get me wrong, we've all lost our 
of shit with our horses when they got they stood on our foot or you had a bad day and they've just done something you've given them a wallop and for fuck's sake. Um But I mean I used to be quite hard I suppose back in the day. I think when you work I used to work on a lot of different yards and uh those yards are quite like cold when I was young and quite impressionable, but I suppose as I've gotten older I've just developed my own way. And that's the way that I would like to sort of share with the younger generation and you know you don't have to beat a horse up. You can be kind and I've got a brilliant relationship with all of my horses and it isn't good giving them a hiding. Don't get me wrong, like I said, if Ginny bit me she'd get a wallet. And she was having a mood the other day, but she's actually if dare put a rub on her, and she's really sweet, so who knows? Like Jack well, is not going to drop his penis for me, are you? You're still dirty, but you're much better than you were. I love you too. All right. Good boy. Right. Um, but I'm going to leave it there because it's getting boring, and I'll see you all later. If he does drop his penis, I will add it on um, and show you what comes out of um, like because it's amazing. Like these calcified lumps, it's disgusting. So um, I will come out and try and grab hold of it when I do. I'll try and video it for you. Because you all want to see what's inside a horse's penis. I know you do. Anyway, guys, see you later.